to you tonight, Stacey Washington, StaceyOnTheRight.com, to just have a brief word about the State of the Union. Yes, I'm going to sit all the way through that thing and watch it because I'd love to hear what the president is going to say about the state of our union at this moment. We have a high level of unemployment. We have an obsession with social issues, and our country is more divided along racial and socioeconomic lines than ever before. What is he going to say? What is he going to do to join us back together, to help us to feel a sense of camaraderie amongst our fellow Americans, and most importantly, get out of the way so small businesses and large businesses and corporations can put people back to work? The first thing he could do? roll back the provisions of Obamacare that are strangling our economy and killing jobs. Number two, give those benefits back to the veterans. I'm a veteran and those COLA increases are their bread and butter. They need that money and they deserve it. They've earned it. Those are their benefits. Congress should cut their budget, cut their pay, cut their retirement benefits, leave the troops alone, leave the veterans alone. And then the next thing he could talk about, well, I don't know, not immigration reform. What polling shows that very few Americans care anything about immigration reform right now. If you don't have a job, you don't care anything about immigration reform. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What else? What else can the president not bring up tonight? I'm thinking maybe, hmm, how about not talking about signing new executive orders or increasing the minimum wage? It doesn't matter what the minimum wage is if you don't have a job. It doesn't matter what inequality there is in this country if you don't have a job. Um, Pre-K funding, more infrastructure funding, what is this, a joke? Every year for five years he's talked about infrastructure. The only thing he hasn't said in the last few SOTUs is shovel-ready jobs. He finally got the message on that. I'd love to see him seriously talk about tacking to the middle as a party joining together with Republicans who have 26 job bill, jobs bills and other bills that are just sitting, being ignored by the Senate, and talk about a way to come together, to come together because he's the president of all of this country. Um, and then, of course, retirement security. There is no security in our retirement. Our account for security is empty. Our Social Security accounts are empty. The money's been spent by previous Congresses. There is no security there. No need to talk about it. Um, what would I like to, for him to address? What I just said. I, that's it. That's all I've got for him. That's what I'd love to see him do. He still has time left in his second term to turn around the malaise and just egregious failure that has been the hallmark of his first term and the first year of his second term. President Obama, don't embarrass yourself any further. Stop talking about things that don't matter. Address this nation as the leader of the free world and tack to the middle. Give yourself an opportunity to have a legacy and give the rest of us an opportunity to have jobs and freedom. That's all I've got.